Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, we're back with the channel, and today we're gonna be going over the tournament that I played last week, which I managed to get second place in, which is uh, amazing, especially for this new format or like in the new series, series two. Um, I really want to try something completely new. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into the matches. So, um, round one, um, we're up against um, OCE DVP. Um, very, very good player. And uh, yeah, my team kind of just got destroyed by this. Uh, he had white guard um, Garganical. Her moth well, wasn't really doing too well, unfortunately, against that. It's because I only had spread moves. So yeah, I kind of got destroyed by him. Um, he played really, really well overall. We could have played a little bit better if I led uh, differently. Um, but overall, I think this he played extremely well. I mean, I wasn't too gutted about like, round one losing because it was a new format, so I'm trying to learn as uh, much as I possibly can. Uh, but um, yeah, we will uh, play that. I really like his team overall, it's quite cool. The similar composition with like that I'm using right now, which is Iron Bundle and Gargantical, but Arcanine. And these two are like somewhat different, but. Alright, moving on to round two um, after that round one loss. We're going against Larvatar Nation. And um, now Levitar is a uh, is also a really good player. I mean, I've, I've played versus him a couple times in Spike Myth. He did beat me, so I was looking for a little bit of a, I guess, a revenge. Not really, but uh, yeah, he had an annihilate, uh, Pokemon annihilate with Screen's team with Specs. I think it was Specs. Yeah, oh, oh no, Scarf. Yeah, Scarf Iron Moth with um, which was very interesting. I'm sure. Um, but I do like, like his team overall, and um, yeah, we did end up picking the 2-1-W. Um, in the end, I think it was just, it was um, Garganical versus uh, King Gambit and Annihilate. But because he was, I think it was, yeah, Terra Normal. Um, it was Terra Normal Annihilate, which is quite interesting for sure. Um, but we, at the end, I think in the game was, I think it was uh, Soul Curing taken away. And it was just King Gambit left, which was going to die after... One more soul cure, um, but then I just clicked recover because I didn't want to get crit by a sucker punch or um, any other thing else like that. But yeah, we did end up winning that one game two one, which was good. So it was on the record we went to win. So round three, we went against uh, Rakina. It was also you know I've played. Uh, have I played against Rakina? I don't think I've played versus Rakina before. Oh, no, I have I have on the showdown ladder what they spike with that but it gets Rakina. Rakina was a very interesting team for sure. I think he had a, he had a salt vest. Yeah, yeah, salt vest sandy shocks, um, which was very interesting. Um, I think it, I thought I don't think he, uh, looking back on it, I don't think sandy shocks with a salt vest was really that influential to be honest. Um, just because um. You want to do big damage either doing with extra belts because that's what it's, it's it's main it's main damage like it's like has really good like base special attack 121 special attack so if you invest in like like either an extra belt it does a lot of damage but I guess it, it makes somewhat sense to use all this on that but I think it did end up mattering versus my game organical took over quite well so yeah we ended up winning this game two to one see a, a quite common thing winning two games to one but um i like it i usually win my games two to one depends of course on the matchup um, but i usually want to just play a little bit risky in the game one and then game two i don't know play safe game one game two just play risk a little bit risky and then game three just play uh, play safe that's what i usually like to do uh, anyway moving on to round four we're going against black cobra um we had quite a good matchup into this Team does like I think it does quite well, especially because I can lead double ghost types um, into um, this, this trick room mode and then just like kill Frigoraf and just stop fake out basically. And um, yeah, so game one, he lead I think he led with Banskarada plus Frigoraf, and I just terror ghosted my go go, go not terror ghost, I terror steeled my golden go and then just destroyed uh, both of this mount. And then it was pretty much GG after that, and then game two. I think I did. I think I did the same thing except we led Hariyama uh, instead of uh, Yaskarada. I think it was um, Hariyama almost basically almost died in one <laughs> almost single make it rain, and then this thing died here. So it wasn't really too much of a uh, not too difficult matchup. Just spamming make it rains and, and uh, 
that shadow claw. So yeah, round five. Uh, I I can't make it on time around five, so I got a did not show. I got a DQ from that round, unfortunately. Um, but it was going to be a, a I think a quite a difficult, well, not really that difficult matchup, but a quite interesting matchup overall. But yeah, so basically what happened um, in round five, um, I was I went to go eat dinner, and then um, the air the whatever the air fryer that I was using broke. And um, I tried to fix it because I had like, no food otherwise. Around five because it was like only at eight p.m. at that point. So yeah, we we did not show unfortunately. So we took an uh, an automatic DQ. So we took uh, two losses immediately, which was unfortunate. But I was three and two, so I would still be able to I still be able to make top cut. I finished like six six out of top eight, so we still made the cut. And then yeah, moving on to day two, um, we went well against. The same player, um, TTV. So I spent I spent like I don't even know how long. I think like f two three hours, just trying to debate on what what I can do better against that. And then we came I came up with like a whole plan, um, to beat it. And then he did not show up. So I don't know if he. I think he may have fallen asleep because he was from Australia, and it was like three or four a.m. I think when it was this this tour was going on or something like that. So yeah, he didn't he didn't show and um, yeah. We got the auto win in moving into top eight into top four, which is you know, it's I didn't want to want to I didn't want to take the win, but he didn't really respond. So unfortunately, things that thing did ha that things do happen. And, uh, yeah, we did end up taking the taking the W there, and um, yeah, moving on to top four. Um, this match was really really close overall. Um, it was a quite a difficult matchup, I would say. I mean, he does have um spread type attacks on, on Rouge with an energy ball. So I had to pretty much tear up my Garganico immediately into poison and then just spam wide guard. Like the really only way I could beat this team. Um, but I think it, he set up the trick rooms and stuff like that and then my Mikyu lived a um, was a wild charge. Yeah, he lived a wild charge I think from Iron Hands and then we uh, play rough the the Iron Hands, and then we Shadow Sneaked his, uh, his Flutter Man because it was, um, it was not Sash, it was Boosted Energy, which is very nice, so Shadow Sneak would just KO. So that was a very, 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 very close match, but very, very good match overall. And, um, yeah, moving on to finals. I mean, this, this finals was, um, I wouldn't say controversial, but um, yeah, some things did happen, unfortunately, um, that um, weren't in too much in my favor. Um, so we played like the first, the first game uh, of this, and it was um, I did win the, that that first game allegedly. Um, but basically, what happened was um, there's a glitch with Garganical and the Soul Cure. Basically, your whole screen just goes blue. Well, you know the the loading screen of the Pokemon thing, the rank battles, it goes blue basically, and um, yeah, you can't really see anything. Uh, you just see the HP bars, you don't see the Pokemon, etc. Um, I had this glitch um, in round one, but I still played out the game. Um, he didn't. He see played out the whole entire game and um, then said, "Yeah, I couldn't really play, so we had to redo the first match." So I won the first match, um, but then after that, he brought um, Gyarados plus Amoongus as a lead. And my team can really deal with that too well. Um, I don't have like a, I don't have a Miascarada like to like I don't know, knock off like the Lumberry or like do anything else basically. And he was just setting up Dragon Dance for free, and um, yeah, we missed just lost because of that, which was a bit unfortunate. Um, I couldn't really deal with the Gyarados and Mungus and just switching out everything basically. Um, yeah, it was a very tough matchup, um, but a very good finals. Uh, well, then the controversy of like the whatever, the something happened, but it is what it is. Um, I'm still happy. I still made it to the finals, which is um, really nice overall. I really do appreciate the uh, experience I've gone from this. So, anyways, let's get into the little bit of the team report, and um, yeah, I'll tell you guys some common leads I did with this team, and uh, yeah, what changes I've made since basically to a new team. So, all right, so this is the team right here. Um, that I used, and uh, yeah, so it focuses around Iron Moth, Scizor, Garganical, and Goldingo, and um, yeah, it's a very, very, I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's it's a good team, I think Scizor is definitely very underrated for sure, 
Uh, it doesn't take any damage. And I made a Terra Water, so it you know, resists the force up against the fire. Um, but yeah, I mean, this Goldingo, I had a different Goldingo spread, but in the game, apparently, I put just the 252252, so I didn't have any bulk, so that was kind of an, an issue here. Um, but yeah, so Iron Moth with Sash, set up the spikes first turn, or just go for Sludge Wave with, the, you know, one of the, the Steel types. Or you can go for Garganico plus Iron Moth lead, which I did quite a lot as well. Um, versus Trick Room teams, you really want to just lead with uh, just Goldingo Mimikyu, just go for double ghost types so you don't get faked out, and then just go for Make It Rain, still Make It Rain, um, and just, just do that. <clears throat> versus Indeedee Armorout teams, um, I would mainly go for like Arcanine plus Garganico lead, or go for Arcanine plus Scizor. Um, and then just you turn into Garganical and then just, you know, snarl away and just like soul cure the rest of the team. That's mainly what I did with that. Um, I don't know, if you can notice, this team doesn't really have any like, it's more of a little bulkier team and then no, no like speed control. So if you're facing like tailwind teams, um, you do have to be careful of like, um, you know, get them getting like a quick EQ off, but that's why we have White Guard Garganical. Stop that. And then we have Iron, we have, uh, you know, Arcanine to do. Uh, just do a little bit of chip and just support a lot of the team, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, this if you guys want to use this team, you do have a rental um, in game as well as a leave that's based in the description below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing in some more tournaments in Series 2. And yeah, I'm going to be playing in also in two regionals in Series 2. I'm going to go to the Buckham regionals um, in February 25th, 26th. And I'm going to the Utrecht uh, regionals, which is in March, which is going to be very, very cool. So stay tuned for, you know, hopefully I'll be able to make some, some sort of team report once the once that's done. Um, but um, yeah, it's been the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a shorter one. Um, just covering this tournament. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Feed your scene. Cut.